My favorite image, the dividing cells in the zebrafish. It's got beautiful colors. It's something that you can't see without a microscope and without developmental research. I look for something which is visually arresting, which is going to grab my attention. If I was walking past on the Euston Road, I want something that is going to, is going to make me turn and stop and look at it. And I also want something that has meaning, that it, it's not just a, a, an image in its own right, it's, it's not just going to grab my attention, it's going to keep me lingering because I'm going to wonder how that image was made perhaps, or, uh, or, or what the intention was of the, the person that made that image, or who is the person in the image, or uh, you know, what is the underlying meaning, uh, is, there, is there something about ethics or, or philosophy or the way we understand health and the body to be discovered within that image. My favourite image was the, of the uh, Ebola virus um, because of the technical skill in producing it. Uh, because of all the, the interest behind the, behind the story. There's a photograph of uh, the isolation unit at the Royal Free Hospital where a few patients and nurses were treated who caught Ebola. The moth scales, we've got this image which is really bright and just quite unexpected. There was a, an image of part of the eye um, at first view, it could have seemed, it could have seemed like an aerial map of London at night, um, and it's this fine tracery of, of uh, white, uh, almost uh, arterial networks. My favorite image was a picture of a human arm, which was covered in a beautiful black henna tattoo. Unfortunately, the patient had a quite acute reaction to the color molecules within the henna, which unfortunately happens at times and you could just see how the blisters were just glittering in the light of the photographer. Another of the images that really stood out for me was the um, thermal image of two uh, right hands, one of which is from somebody who suffers from Raynaud's syndrome, which means that their, their bodies don't recover from exposure to cold as quickly as a normal person. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful photograph to begin with. So the colours in it and the depth in it and the uh, and the, the subject in the centre, which you only really discover once you've looked at the photo for a while. And this is a baby which is bathed in blue light. It is ultraviolet light that is there to help this little baby who's been born with jaundice. One of the other images that really struck me this year was the image of two bacteria sitting on a surface of nanographene, which is a it's a material that we've heard an awful lot about in the press and it's fascinated me ever since I first heard about it when I heard that it was only one atom thick, one carbon atom thick. I think the images engage with the public, uh, communicate science in different ways. I think some of them through real, uh, almost like a starburst, you're drawn into a curious, uh, colourful image, you're not sure what it is. Um, others are maybe slightly more disturbing. Um, some of them might be a little bit familiar but on closer inspection, they're not quite what you see. Um, and so I think they kind of work on those in those different ways. 